I'm just talking on camera here, don't mind me. I'm like, are you talking to me? No, just, just talking to myself. It's 7 a.m. I'm in San Antonio, Texas right now. I'm here doing a speaking engagement later this morning. Uh, and I'm not in town for very long, which is kind of a bummer. Whoa, and it's raining out now. The weather here is incredible. I think my talk is at like 10 a.m. or 9 a.m. this morning, but right now I have to go make sure everything works. I'm Casey. I was told to come here at seven for like a. Hey, Casey. There he is. Hey, how are you? Nice to meet you. Good how to you see doing? You. We'll get you set up real fast. Fantastic. This is my computer stuff here. That's the screen where my videos are gonna play. Yo. Look at this little booth. Are those guys in trouble? They are. That's the penalty booth. That's what I figured. We're gonna move you. That's what we move you. I figured like that's. Yeah, we've got Whoa. It is swampy and humid out here. All right, my talk is in like 42 minutes. Feeling good, feeling confident. Casey Neistat is one interesting guy. When we were looking for a speaker for this gathering, you know, you start doing your research, you get online, you look at their videos, whatever. And I'm not one to sit around and, you know, look at videos, but I got hooked on Casey. So without further ado, Casey Neistat, come on up. One eternity later. So long. Okay, talk is done. It went well, I think. It went well. Thank you so much. Um, it's absolutely wonderful. I'm Carol. I appreciate it, Carol. I had a wonderful time having listening to you and oh, seeing your great. videos. Thanks, Hi. Very nice. Oh, thank you so much. Awesome. Thank you so much. All right, was a good talk. That talk was the whole reason why I came to San Antonio. That's the reason why I'm down here. And that's it. Now I'm done. So now I leave San Antonio. Where should I run around here? Towards the what? Sir? Where should I run? Uh... No help from the gentleman at the hotel. Alright, I'm just gonna run in one direction, then turn around and run back. Alright, that was just over five miles at just under an eight minute pace. That was also the first time I've run since the marathon. My legs are extremely heavy this morning. I haven't run in humidity like that since like, since July. Leaving this hotel for good, back to the airport. That's gotta be for me. So we're just going to the airport. Thanks a lot, you take care. I never know if I'm supposed to tip those guys or not. Like, it's an expensive car service that I'm not paying for. But do I tip them? I'm not flying American Airlines here because it was either a direct flight on United that takes one hour or I fly on American 
with a layover and it takes five hours. Sorry, American. Okay, next stop. Here's one of my favorite travel tips. Always travel with a small bag. And have that bag on a small carabiner like this. Then you can clip your bag anywhere. Then you have one place to put all of your loose stuff that's in your pockets. First one off the plane. I'm not in New York City, I'm in Houston. <laughs> Have a good night. I wonder how many nights a year I spend in hotels versus how many nights a year I spend in my actual home. There's a situation. I'm in Houston, Texas, hiding behind a wall because my Uber driver was just driving me home from the grocery store to the hotel. And there were like these dudes in the street like punching a car. A little excitement for the end of the night. <laughs> 